Oh my friend, I just finished my first day. Today was my first day at the hospital. It's, yeah, so right now I'm waiting for my transport. I'm excited. It's a good day. Yeah, so it's just my first day. I'm so happy and yeah, okay. I guess let's go now. You guys can check out the rest of the video. Bless that African woman. Rich skin tone, my woman. True African proud woman. Rise up African woman. Everything so nice. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my... Let's cover that up, please. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's again, I want you back at it to another video. Hi, it's been long since I filmed a sit-down video like this. Oh my god, but yeah, so I'm back. I'm filming a video right now. I'm sitting down. I have free time. If my voice is cracking, I'm sorry. I'm having a cold and like, sis is just not fine right now. But she really needs to film a video for you guys. So, without wasting much time, let's get right into the video. So, I don't know if I should take off my specs or wear them because there's a reflection from This me. video is um, a very emotional video for me to film. I don't know why, but like it's just... Every time I try to film it or every time I've done a filming it, I'm really getting emotional. Like this clip you're about to watch right now. Um. I'm supposed to be sleeping right now but I just thought of a video idea which has made me like really really sad I am tearing up uh, which is basically what working in a hospital has taught me uh, I've been working for some time now and yeah so like ah shit like I'm crying like I'm literally having tears right now um okay a little bit of a background I've always wanted to work in medicine okay i wanted to be when i was growing up i had it i have this auntie who's a doctor i had always admired her so i wanted to be a doctor i was like i want to be a doctor i want to be a doctor so you know life has its things you know it shows you different perspectives and yeah so i ended up doing pharmacy which is still uh medicine basically but different so so pharmacy um initially I started thinking I didn't want to do like hospital pharmacy okay I don't li okay I didn't really want to do it I don't like it I don't know yeah so I figured I would be doing industrial pharmacy which is man manufacturing inside of medicine and stuff so that's what I want to do but also I wanted to get the experience of working in a hospital and how it is so okay uh, I, I'm like I don't know why I'm getting so emotional but I just wanted to make this video right now so that when i include it in my video it won't be weird and stuff so i'll continue this um i think i need to sleep i don't know cry i don't know <laughs> but i'm like so sad like i'm like thinking about what i've seen so far or how my experience has been just made me like really really sad and yeah okay bye okay so um this clip i filmed like a few days ago yeah it was just some day i was i was from work that day I remember I was trying to rest and stuff and like I don't know I just thought about the things that I've been experiencing like at work and I'm purposely not wearing makeup because this might get emotional and I just you know I am working now I'm working as an inpatient pharmacist and an inpatient pharmacist is basically pharmacists that just catch us to the patients that are admitted into the hospital that are admitted in the hospital and then outpatient is where if you're sick you got the doctor general doctor md and then they take you to a person the pharmacy where you pay like money to get your medicine to leave the hospital and whatever that's why i have more contact with patients so um oh my god i'm getting emotional already but okay ah why the world of okay <clears throat> i don't know why i've just been an emotional wreck lately but anyway the first thing I have is most things we complain about actually that bad, you know. Um, we have days, we all have days and we, it just sucks. Like days, just days, weeks, months where things are just not going well for you. Like it's just, you know, like pro problems are just happening everywhere, all over the place. You're just going through like a lot. But then you go to a hospital and you see someone that is bedridden. They can't walk, they can't talk, they can't breathe on their own, they can't literally do nothing for themselves. 
including eating, including like nothing, like they're bedridden down the bed, like they can't help themselves. But you, even in those bad days you're going through, you can get out of the bed, you can shower, you can walk, you can breathe, you can see the sun. Because hospitals, okay, in as much as they are places for people to get fine, they are kind of sad because they're dark. Like if you look at the ICU where I, I work. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be saying these things, but anyway, it's dark, like the room, okay, it's not dark because there's light inside, but like it's not, you can't go like open a window and be sunny because that air is not like safe, okay, for someone that has a heart problem to breathe directly like that. So, so yeah, I've learned, I've realized that like, okay, I may be going through some shit, I'm like, ah, okay, but there's someone that's really having it harder than I am. And there are more positive things that I can look at in my life. I'll be like, okay, this sucks, but this is winning. I'm winning at this, you know? Like, problem is, like, nowadays, people fail to celebrate their small achievements. Like, getting out of bed is a big deal. Like, it's literally a big deal for someone who's been maybe bedridden for months. Like, them getting up and doing something for themselves. So, let's celebrate our small achievements. Even, like, just leaving the house when you're not feeling like you want to is an achievement. So, fear. I have seen fear in a whole new different way like like I've seen like fear in a way like oh my god I'm actually terrified of this situation I'm actually terrified of having this disease or having this condition or having this happen to me like it's a whole thing like you know we we talk about fears i don't like the dark i hate the dark i'm not a fan of the darkness that i fear like i'm like oh i don't like heights i don't like height no like that's a phobia that's a fear that's something that i fear but like yo when you're fearing something that could take away your life literally take away your life is a whole new perspective it's like wow like okay this could do this to me at any point and I'll be gone, like, I'll, I won't be there anymore, like, yo, okay, do as much as you want to do now, like, literally today, do as much as you want to do, oh my god, that is, this is one of the biggest ones which I've, like, I'm like, I need to do this, like, I want to do this, I want to, you know, sometimes we come up with excuses like fans, you know, I don't have time, time is an important thing also, time, but let me tell you something, I'm 23 today. I'm 23 now, but I'm saying, okay, let me push this to when I retire. Let me push this to when I'll have more money. Let me push this to when I... Literally, you can save up for a trip, like travel to a place for le for like literally a small amount of money. You don't have to go on an extravagant like vacation, like to Paris, to wherever. You can do whatever you want to do now. If you want to start a business, do it now. If you want to like go out dance if you want to just live your life for now like don't wait for when you're 60 or for when i have this amount of money or for when i have like this there are people like at the hospital there are people who are living in the presidential suites okay those are like the expensive rooms like the most expensive room it means they have the money to pay like for those rooms because they're expensive so so, you know the funny thing is even like your money can't oh my god ah why but yeah even like your money sometimes can't get you out of a sickness like you know but your money can give you very good experiences very good um memories like memories that will last forever like things that you remember and be like you know because i i feel like if you don't do some things now that you wanted to do you look back at 23 year old you and be like Yo, you had the money, you had enough money to travel to this place. Why didn't you do it? You know, I don't wait for when you're 70, 80, 90 on your deathbed and saying, I should have done that when I was this age. I should have done because when you're that age, you can't move, like, you can't go. Like, it can be, it's even hard for you to get on a flight. Sometimes, there are people who are so sick, they can't even fly to where they're supposed to get treatment from. So, you can't even get on a flight to save your own lives with your own money, which you've worked hard for. So, like, don't take your healthy days for granted. Oh my God, this is so important. You know how even when you're like sick for just like, it's just something like maybe like say malaria or let me say like a flu, a cold, you know how you're just always in bed, it sucks and whatever. It gets 10 times worse when you're older because your body sometimes can't even fight the diseases that you're having no matter how much medications you take and stuff like that. So don't take your healthy days for granted. And lastly, um, uh, death. So, um, I saw someone, like, 
pass on for the first time ever in my life i've never seen him before and it was so sad like it was i don't know the i don't know i don't know how to post the person but okay i don't know them i don't know their story all i was doing was going for rounds um and we were checking like um her health i was trying to learn on how an ecg works it's 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 wild you know it's wild where you see someone alive this second okay i don't know why okay it's sad it's it's like crazy when you see someone is alive this second and next thing they can't breathe anymore like oh my god it's sad ah like it's just sad you know like i don't know the person but like i just i was like she's gone like it's done like it's over for her like like oh i said okay like it's like her life is over like there are people who probably love her so much people are waiting for her to get fine but just like that like you know she's like she's gone so death is real i know we know we all know that it's it hits you differently every time um do whatever you want to do now guys um this is advice for me i don't know why i'm crying i'm like sorry Mojula. like it's so bad yeah so um we we lose loved ones every time i bet she was loved you know she was cared for and i never knew that like, it was that easy for someone to just go away they breathe their last breath and they're gone and that's all like it's over for them and you know like yeah so I've learned these things. I don't know if you guys want me to continue this, make it a series or something like that of life lessons or things that I've learned. But I hope they help someone today. Um, do one thing I want you to take away from this video is do whatever you want to do now. Like do it now. Don't wait for you to have this amount of money. Don't wait for you to be at this age. Don't wait for if it's something that you feel is right for you at that moment. Even if it doesn't work out, you've learned something, like you've had a lesson, like you've learned something from it. You get, like not all wins, not all losses are losses. Some are wins because you learn something, you learn how to do it differently, but do it, like just do whatever you want to do now. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. I don't know, I was just really emotional. I just feel like it's something I needed to film, I needed to talk to you guys about. And hope you learned something. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Definitely share this video. And yeah, bye to the next video.